Hey, welcome back to new video. Yeah, cold crust, whatever, insubordinate and Brian, I don't know. Um, this is a very special video because I'm going to be ranking all of the JE and Deep Liar albums, singles, and EPs. Because even in, including all the obscure tracks that may not be on Spotify, or at least not yet, but yeah, JE and Deep Liar. It's the same person if you didn't know that. It's just different type of music. Jay is more of a rapper. Mostly, he, not anymore. He used to be like a meme rapper, uh, alias or persona. But now it's just a rap, his rapper persona, where he doesn't take himself as seriously. But Deep Liar is his proper artist name. And there's good music that comes from both of those personas. So I'm going to be ranking the singles first, but I will be including the EPs with the albums because. I just count EPs and albums as proper projects, like singles are projects too, but the albums are projects that make more sense, I know, <laughs> but yeah, okay, so there's nine singles so far, so yeah, number nine, Generic V2, it's, it's not that good, it actually sounds like one of my songs from one of my albums, I think it was Love and Happiness, the Japanese one, but the reason it, I don't know, it's, just, it's used the same sample pack as my song, it's not bad, it's just, yeah, I'm, oh yeah, we rank, rating him out of 10, it's not bad, but he made it as a joke anyway, so I'll give it, um, a 4 out of 10, so that's the lowest we've got, 4 is, well, that's not a terrible score either, so number 8 is Mouth, probably his most experimental song. Or at least weird sounding, <laughs> which is just sounds of well, his mouth. He's making noises with a microphone, adding reverb, slowed down a bunch of effects to it. It is a uh, there's some there's some mozzie there. It is a long. It's five minutes. It feels a bit longer than that, but that's just because it's very weird. But yeah, no, I wouldn't say it's a bad song. So I'll give it a five out of ten for effort, you know, it's great, great effort. Uh, number seven, Childhood. This sounds like, I mean, yeah, that and Mouth are Deep Liar singles, I forgot to specify which one's which, but yeah, Childhood, that's, it's good, it's a good song. I wouldn't say it's the best, but I actually do like it, it sounds like something straight out of Dark Shadow or Kid on the Moon, which <laughs> you'll see what I think of them soon, but yeah. Childhood, probably a 6 out of 10. It's still a good song. Number 6, another J, uh, Deep Liar single, Fireworks Files. I still don't know what this song means. <laughs> I'm not sure if um, James knows what it means either, unless he's got secret hidden meanings in the lyrics, which he probably does, because he always does. So yeah, this song... Yeah, uh, looking up here, this is the highest... Deep Liar single, but that's just because he doesn't really release singles under Deep Liar, because he, most of the Deep Liar music comes in on the albums and EPs and like full projects, so yeah. But yeah, Fireworks Files, a 6 out of 10, good song. Now number 5, this is a weird one, it's Music Is My Spirit and Soul Remastered, the JE verse from my song, Music Is My Spirit and Soul. He just re-released my song from Pure and Hinge Sanity. Yeah, it's not bad. This is the best part of the song, so I'm glad he re-released it. Even though I did actually release the exact same song on the EP, on Pure Normality, which just has his verse. I probably should have just, like, on my album, sorry, I'm going off a bit off topic, but I probably just should have put his verse in, that's it, in my thing. Because I'm more of a producer on that song, and my verse is terrible, so... <laughs> it, it, it's really bad. Just listen to... Yeah, just go and if you want to hear music is my spirit and soul, the proper ver the proper way to listen to that song is to not listen to the album version. Listen to the J E single version. And yeah. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It's one of Jay's best verses, like best rap verses. Just like showing the passion he has for music and making music and just it's fun, you know. You get to express your feelings and I have the same opinion about music, so yeah. Number four, generic. I don't know how this got up here. 
this and music is, is my spirit and soul. This is above music is my spirit and soul because that is technic music is my spirit and soul is technically my song. But yeah, generic sounds like a Juice World type beat with James rapping over it or J E sorry. But yeah, it's good. You've got a great album cover or cover on that one. Great artwork. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But yeah, this is us. Another seven out of ten. Just because I like, I don't know, I like the sound of it, so. Uh, yeah, number three, Call Me Waldo. <laughs> yeah, no, these um, tracks are pretty short, but this is, it's, it's pretty fun. It's a fun track. Give it another seven, or this is a low seven. I just put it above generic because, I don't know, that's my opinion. You got a problem with that? Yeah, number two. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait for people to get offended by this song. Nah, I'm just joking. But yeah, don't take it seriously. He's just joking around. Oh, it goes hard though. Yeah. Yeah, don't get offended by this song. Yeah, you'll have a good time if you just listen to it like... Just a fun meme song. Although it's not really a meme song though. It's just joking around. Not, don't take it seriously. But... The number one single, oh yeah, that last song, not 7 out of 10, but number one, which is 7 out of 10 as well, Stay Hydrated. Um, I'm on this song, that's the probably the worst part, the best part is with Lil Ashtray, my brother, and J.E. Um, their parts are the best. My parts, I feel like I just don't want to, it sounds like I don't want to be there, which I did, so I should have just made it better. That was my old era of rapping when I was cold crust. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of this channel? Yeah, yeah, Stay Hydrated still still holds up, I think. So yeah, we're finally getting to the albums and the EPs. Number nine, Potty Gold, The Untold Story soundtrack. This is low because it's not as memorable as the Movie Juice soundtrack, which has some classic bangers like Juice Not Booze, um, Stay Hydrated wasn't even on that. Stay Hydrated's on this, this thing. But, yeah, it does have Gangster in School too, though. I can give it that. It, that goes hard. I think it goes a little harder than the first Gangster in School. More on that later. Yeah, but other than that, it's mostly recycled songs like Peace from maybe Juice the Last Trace song that J.E. produced. Um... And, yeah, I can't really remember the other original songs from this other than Gangster in School 2. Not sure what they were even called, so yeah. Uh, this gets a 5.5 5 out of 10. It's still, it's not bad though, it's just forgettable. Number 8 is the Movie Juice soundtrack. Yep, yeah. um, we get to talk about it now. I'm not including the Movie Juice Redux soundtrack, just because it's not that different. It's just got some other tracks on there. And those other tracks, uh, um, like Marshmallow Toast, you can find them on YouTube. That'd probably be in the same spot as the normal movie do soundtrack anyway. Except it's got a better cover, I think. So yeah, might reuse that. But yeah, it's kind of Gangster School 2, Juice Not Booze, um, Peace, great little ashtray song. Um, Cicadas, a little, little banger. Cliff Sad, which is just my death scene. Um, God, what are the other songs? Oh yeah. Living the Dream, which always gets copyright claimed because it's like a very popular um, sample beat that everyone uses. And then the best song on the album, Levitate. Great freestyle sort of thing. Actually, I think Jay wrote um, wrote this song, wrote this song, like, <laughs> I'm not sure if it was freestyle, but this is the best song. It's still one of his best songs, um, at least best J.E. songs, because this is, I just wish, the only problem I have with it is that it's not long enough. It needs to be longer. Bring out the extended version of Levitate, you know? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, but yeah. Movie Juice soundtrack gets a 6 out of 10. Just, like, I don't know, I kind of feel bad giving a 6, but it's closer to a 7 than a 5, so, yeah. Uh, number 7, Board Balls. <laughs> yeah, this, um, 
I made this as well, so I'm going to be as unbiased as I can. This is a collaborative album with me and James. Oh, yeah, it's it's funny. It's got Ward on it, so and it's got Donkey Dick Darren, who's a great little artist, up up and coming artist. Donkey Dick Darren. Need to get him on some more tracks, but yeah. Uh, Ward Balls is a fun time. If you, if you like, don't take it seriously, and you don't care about getting offended or something, but yeah, six out of ten, just because lyrical wise, it's it's pretty atrocious. But <laughs> um, I wish I could have rapped better on that. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't. Probably because I couldn't back then. I'm still trying, you know. I'm still trying, but yeah, what balls. Yeah, number six. Deplier EP, which is de the debut self titled EP from Deplier. It's great, it's like really good. My only issue with it is that it's not longer, you know, but that's fine, I don't care because we've, we've gotten continuations of this type of music and these stories from this album. It's great. Um, probably best tracks are title track great little song uh, I miss home that's great this every song is good so because <laughs> there's only five songs I think so yeah it's good instrumental version gets the same score because I don't care because I don't mind the vocals I think they're fine so this is a seven out of ten almost an eight I'll, I'll give it a seven and a half out of ten so yeah number five another EP the last EP actually, but yeah, <laughs> Beach Volume 2 by Deep Liar, which is, it's very good. The reason I have it above Deep Liar, I'm not sure why, they're like exactly the same. They both get a 7.5 out of 10. I don't know, I think I'm just a sucker for distorted guitars, because I love that guitar solo song. I'm not even sure what it's called, I think it's called Guitar? I'm not even sure, but it's very good. Ooh, yeah. This, this guy, he's going somewhere. Yeah, Beach Volume 2. Very good. It, I like the last song. It sounds like an epic movie soundtrack. Like the end of a movie sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Number 4. Dark Shadow. The debut album. Of... Um... Deplier, why did I forget that? <laughs> of Deplier, but I still kind of count as a second album of Deplier, just because the EP, um, it's really good, and I just count that as a, as a mini LP, you know? It's kind of an album, that's what an EP is, just shorter, but yeah. Dark Shadow, it's, it's so good. Uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10, 7 and a half out of 10. The songs, the only reason it's not high, the only reason it's not an 8 is because of my song on it. Well, that has nothing to do with the actual album, really, because my song was terrible and I wish I could redo it. Which I probably will for the deluxe edition. But yeah, very good. I love the whole experience of it. Uh, my advice is to just skip the song called Problems, because that's the one I made. And it's terrible. It's probably the worst song I've made, and I've made I'm D's, so yeah. Dark Shadow, it's just it's just great. I love it. But number three, Beach Volume One, first volume, which is a full album. It's so good. Like I could imagine I can't really imagine it without I mean I can't imagine it with lyrics or vocals. And I'm glad it's just an instrumental thing. I love the album cover as well. It's great, even though yeah, I love it as a parental advisory sticker, but there's no words in it, you know, it's just the themes. But yeah, um, great songs, like Piano, The Storm, Keys, The Bar, I think, oh, wait, oh no, that's from Kid on the Moon. I'm not quite sure what all the songs are called, but I'll tell you, they're all great, except for Orchestral Suite. It's still, a portion of that song is good. It's just, I hate whenever I'm on a song. I don't know why. I just gotta respect myself a little more. 
But yeah, no, Beach Volume t Volume 1 gives an 8 out of 10. The whole experience, it just sounds like one long song if you're not... Like, if you don't see it change, you're like, oh, it's a, it's a long song. And then you go, oh, wait, it's the last one? What? But yeah. Great. Number two. Cooked <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised it got this high, although not really, because you see, if you've seen my review of this album, you know why I love it. It's just great. 8 out of 10. I've already reviewed this one, so I don't want to talk about it heaps, but I'll just say it's definitely worth a listen. Chuck will listen to it. I don't know if it's on Spotify yet, but by the time the video's up and by the time people see it, by the time you see this, it's probably up on Spotify right now. If not, just chuck it on, on YouTube, you know? So yeah. Uh, I think every song is good, even the one I'm on, because my verse, if I mixed it better on my verse, I think I could have, I think I could have done a little better, but yeah. Number one, finally, which is actually one of my favorite albums of the year, surprisingly, because, yeah, number one, The Kid on the Moon. If you saw this coming, then you saw this coming, but yeah, The Kid on the Moon, genuinely like probably number five of my favorite albums of the year probably higher if um it turns out i haven't listened to much music other than mine and his this year but yeah this is so good i almost got emotional i got kind of emotional near the end of it you know it nearly got me so it's actually great though it's more than great i'm giving this one a nine out of ten and yeah, 9 out of 10 for an album, that's pretty good, that's a pretty good album. And my feature on this album isn't even bad, because it's an instrumental thing. So, yeah. Which is, just, I like his use of sampling of some of my music, I've sampled some of his stuff as well. But I like how he sampled Birth to the Edge of the Universe, which is on my YouTube channel, the Insta Born, the Brian YouTube channel, the one that not the topic one, the, my actual channel where I upload obscure singles and stuff that aren't on the albums. Yeah. But yeah, it's, um, Kid on the Moon, great. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. So, that's J.E. Antiplayer ranked. So, you, you comment down below what your ranking would be and then I'll respect your decision because uh, good yeah all right uh, bye